According to the Human Rights Watch, hrw.org, if you want to know more about them, Russia's lower house of parliament adopted a bill on Friday that violates a wide range of rights for transgender people violates the rights of trans people. Now, Russia is no paradise for LGBTQ plus people anyway. So harsher laws uh, are just terrifying. So that was passed in the lower house. The parliament's upper chamber and President Vladimir Putin are expected to approve the bill. It outlaws trans health care. Regardless of age, regardless of circumstances, it just outlaws trans health care, dissolves marriages of transgender people. One of the most horrifying things in the Bible uh, for me is, uh, is in Ezra and Nehemiah, uh, it's actually the, the Nehemiah section, where marriages are just dissolved, uh, where a religious uh, group decides that, it's just that if you didn't marry properly according to their standards, their rules, your family could just be dissolved. Well, that's part of this bill in Russia. Uh, dissolving marriages of transgender people, placing a ban on changing gender markers in official documents, and it prevents trans people from adopting or even taking guardianship over children. It completely dehumanizes transgender people. The bill would ban medical interventions, integral and internationally recognized uh, as standards for care for transgender people, including gender-affirming medication and surgery. The draconian bill passed the lower house despite criticism from human rights lawyers, activists, and medical professionals. Transgender people in Russia will be less safe once this bill becomes law. But please realize that it is not unique to Russia. These kinds of things are happening throughout Asia and Africa and Eastern Europe and guess where else? Even parts of the United States. There are people in the U.S. who want similar laws passed in the U.S., and there are similar laws uh, being proposed. God help us. Well, when politicians and preachers, neighbors or relatives, are sharing uninformed opinions about transgender people, and if it ever dehumanizes or demonizes them, it is, it is uninformed. And when they try to make it simple, when they try to make it binary, and when they say it with mean and snarky tones, it's misinformed. It's just wrong. And so when that happens, it is our duty to educate ourselves and then to gently correct people who are spreading false information. Medical, mental health, and children's advocates internationally affirm the rights of transgender people and the necessity and efficacy of gender-affirming care. That's, those are the facts that we need, and that's what we need to share with people who don't know. Often their ignorance is chosen, but we still can't let uh, what they say go unchallenged. We have to give a counter narrative in defense of transgender human beings, transgender children of God. My clarion call has been to urge you to educate yourself about transgender issues and then to use your voice and your vote to protect the transgender children of God. And may God's blessing be upon all who simply wish to live safely and happily as the persons nature has made them to be. Amen.